Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion on the sigmoid unit. We are going to derive the error gradient for a sigmoid unit. Now, just reminding you of the different symbols that we have used in the past in our discussion of perceptrons and sigmoid before we go into the derivation. Now, E. E is the error function which we defined for perceptrons and that is nothing but this guy here half sigma small d in capital D td minus od the whole square so this entire thing is the error function now what are the different quantities here d is each theta instance d capital d is the data set which contains all the training examples now td is the true value of what you're trying to predict of what we want to predict it's also called the ground truth and this is what we use in training right so we already have labeled examples and they are labeled value the true value is given by td and now what is od so we saw that od in perceptrons is given by the linear combination and then an activation function and then we introduced the sigmoid unit with a different output and now here it's a sigmoid unit which we are deriving the error gradient for so od is coming from the sigmoid So OD is nothing but sigmoid of net D, right? Where net is equal to sigma i equal to 0 to n w i x i, where w i is the weight and x i is the feature. So these are all the symbols and we have defined them and now to compute the error gradient we want to compute a partial derivative of the error function with respect to wi this trick is similar to what we used for the perceptrons we are just going to repeat it only difference is that the od function is different here it is coming from a sigmoid rest will the procedure is the same so because od is different you will get a finally different value but the procedure to compute this is very similar to what we went through for perceptrons now we have partial differentiation of the error function with respect to wi and we know that we can push the partial def differentiation inside the summation and then we get step number two and now differentiating td minus od the whole square we get two td minus od and a partial differentiation with respect to wi of td minus od right we know that td is a constant because it's the true value right so it's a number it's a constant so differentiation of this constant is zero so that can be remote and that remain left leaves us with minus od differentiation of minus od with respect to wi and we get this quantity here now after the basic step and also taking cancelling these the two out 
we get a summation over d td minus od times minus differentiation of od with respect to wi now for the next step we take this minus and we take it out of the summation then we have summation over d td minus od from the previous step now od decomposes into net d and net d has the term which has wi so od is nothing but sigmoid of net d so od is a function of net d and net d is a function of wi xi right so we use that relationship to decompose this into differentiation of od with respect to net d because od is a function of net d and then times differentiation of net d with respect to wi now we know that differentiation of a sigmoid is sigmoid of x times 1 minus sigmoid of x and that is going to be used here so i'm just going to write this here so we remember differentiation of sigmoid of x is equal to sigmoid of x times 1 minus sigmoid of x right now we are going to use this property to differentiate od with respect to net d think about it od is nothing but sigmoid of net d and then we are differentiating that with respect to net d so that is nothing but od times 1 minus od because we are differentiating a sigmoid with respect to the function on which the sigmoid is calculated. Now for the next part, we have differentiation of net D with respect to WI. Now you know that net D is summation over WI XI, which can also be written as a dot product over the vectors W and X D. Now we know that the only term that is of interest in this summation is the term that has wi because we are differentiating with respect to wi so the term that has wi is wi x i d now what does this mean it is the ith feature in d example now when we differentiate with respect to wi we get the coefficient the coefficient is x i d now putting everything together in the previous equation we get a differentiation of e with respect to wi to be equal to minus sigma over d belong to capital D, td minus od, od times 1 minus od with this nothing but differentiation of od with respect to net d and then xid which is nothing but differentiation of net d with respect to wi so this is our error gradient for a sigmoid unit 
Suppose you have another different unit, let's say a tan H unit. Then what do we do? We substitute OD, we substitute OD to be now from the tan H unit. And then we follow the same procedure to derive the error gradient. So for any unit, we follow a similar procedure to get this value, which is what we will use in our weight update.